Hello, my name is Scott with Sean's Photography, and today I'm going to talk over one of my favorite umbrellas. Um, when you get an, um, a parabolic umbrella, it's a parabolic umbrella. But the thing is, is when you mount it onto your speed light or your strobe, the rod bends because of the weight of the parabolic umbrella. So therefore, it defocuses right off the bat, unless you, you choke your strobe all the way up into the parabolic and therefore you're not in the right focusing point in the first place. One thing I liked about the Paul C. Buff was that it was a fixed focus and um, it had a, a lot bigger shaft and it held up very well. Well, same way with this one I'm gonna show you. It comes with this knuckle. This knuckle is used to mount the umbrella onto a stand. It also comes with the sandbag. These are two necessary things that you're going to need, and that comes with this umbrella. You can probably see there is a little rod sitting right over here. So let me just pull the stand out of the way real quick, because I'm going to have to, it's five foot parabolic umbrella. I'm going to open it up straight to the camera. I'm going to lock it in. As you can see, there is a cage in the center of it. It is a fixed focused. So therefore, you don't have to worry about um, where the focus point is on this umbrella. And also, it's a 5 8 inch solid rod that runs through the center of it. So therefore, even with a 7 pound um, 600 on there, it's not going to bend this rod. All right. Let's grab the stand. As you can see, this slides right into the knuckle. Now... I cinch it all the way up to the, to the locking mechanism and I lock it in. This way it can't de-lock and can't mess up. If this lock ever does fail, the nice thing about it is all you have to do is pull it through this and it'll lock the system. But I have not had the lock system mess up on this yet, so I'm, I'm thinking that it's gonna last pretty darn good. Again, the sandbag will go on here if you're using like a 600 because um, of the weight distribution difference. But if you're not using a 600 and you're using a 360 or a, a speed light, you're not gonna need this. Again, since I put this on this way, all I have to do is loosen it up on the stand and I can slide it to any angle I want. Again, let's focus it straight to you. And we can tilt it up. And you can see it has a nice uh, soft silver inner lining. The lock system here has two release points. So let's slide this out just a little bit and we'll de de lock it. The nice thing about this is if you want to defocus a little bit or close down your modifier, then you just lock it into place just like this. And now it's set like that and your light will be sitting up in the front. Again, this is one of my favorite umbrellas due to the fact of, of the durability of it. It doesn't have no flimsy little rod. This is your rod system right here and your light mounts to the front. And it closes up real nice and easy. And I'll put it close to the backdrop stand so it doesn't flop open because it'll just flop open. It comes with a, like again, with this heavy duty knuckle, heavy duty, heavy duty knuckle and a sandbag. Again, my name is Scott with Sean Photography, and thank you for watching.